Hello, I'm the Gaming Spectre 71 and welcome to a Warframe video. In this video, I am basically doing a one-off, basically showing off um, my Ash Prime, where I am basically going into a random game, going into the void, just trying to see what I can farm from it. We have uh, this is the time where Oberon Prime's access is available. His relics are also available, and I decided to check where I can farm, where, where I can farm it. And I decided to go to the void to check out what I can farm. And um, so as I go, in, as I jump into the game, uh, you'll actually be able to see. In this game mode, I'm actually doing a, I'm doing a sort of void survival, and I'm actually joined by three mirages, uh, all of which I imagine are using uh, Sinoid similar, according to what I have noticed. I have I wasn't really paying attention. I was just trying to go around, enjoy myself, and uh, just uh, basically try out my Rakta Cernos, which I am very, very fond of and very, very much enjoying. I usually have uh, Ash Prime built for something a little more than just um, aggressiveness or a, a build for that something specific. I actually have him built for, in general, survivability and uh, mostly about his abilities, really. I have two mod arguments uh, for him, which is both the uh, shuriken mod argument, his first power, as well as the uh, fatal teleport for his teleport argument. Uh, well, the fate, I mean the, the, the fatal teleport argument for his teleport ability. And uh, aside from that, with a, with a little bit of uh, vitality and uh, some basic mods to increase his duration, his uh, uh, efficiency, and uh, a little bit of his strength. That's pretty much all. Uh, no Exodus uh, adapter at the current time, mostly because I don't have one, otherwise I would definitely put one. And um, yeah, I'm basically, my, my tactics with Ash Prime is always to basically become invisible, use his smoke screen. Uh, and uh, while I'm invisible, as long as I'm not, uh, well, basically when I'm invisible, I just kill things. Uh, unless I don't get hurt by anything, unless I'm not being shot at and stuff, which I remain visible, of course. And uh, if I see that I'm actually my like if I, if I, my if my health starts getting damaged or if my shield is somewhat low, then I'll instantly become invisible to like reduce my aggro and just continue to wreck everything. And uh, it's a it's a useful strategy which, which I found that it's actually very very handy. I used to use this with uh, I have Ash basically built as a sniper. I basically use the Vectis Prime build and uh, I have it modded to with with a hush mod so that it doesn't do any uh, noise. And I basically use uh, Ash's smoke screen and just deal damage at a distance. Now I have also I also have him modded as an assassin using his fatal teleport and his shuriken. I can either weaken an enemy and then take him down with my with my with any weapon, or I can use my fatal teleport to instantly kill an enemy. Now, the idea of fatal teleport was to basically use the Rakta Dark Dagger with a covert lethality mod to basically insta kill any kind of enemy that comes on my way. Um, but at this point, I was actually using the Fragger Prime because I wanted to level it up. I only just I recently polarized it and I wanted to level it up. So I just I if I, I would have been using it, and obviously I would have had better results with my Fatal Teleport. But if I see an enemy like a Bombardo or a Heavy Gunner or an Ancient, um, I would basically tele use Fatal Teleport on them and then insta kill them uh, just to help out. Uh, which is useful for teamwork if you want to take out some of the strongest enemies so your teammates are like, you know, if you if you do that kind of thing. I don't know if anybody does that kind of thing. Um, and this game mode is pretty much everyone all by himself. It was pretty much more like uh, the three Mirages competing for like who's gonna get the most kills and that kind of stuff. Um, being something that I have noticed is that if you are either the first player or the fourth player, you gain the most aggro from enemies and uh, like you also have the most enemy spawn rates. Enemies tend to spawn a lot more when you are basically there. And um, uh, for being the fourth player, I had a, a very decent enemy spawn rate, so enemies were definitely spawning a lot faster to me. And uh, I took this knowledge, being a long time uh, Warframe player, I took this knowledge and, and attempted to use it basically. Uh, I'm still trying using my tactic as in be being invisible, um, 
Also at the same time, I'm also trying to adjust to the uh, bow because I'm not exactly the only bow I ever had was the dark, with the dread basically with a critical chance build. Um, my rectus nose is actually built for critical damage uh, as well as status chance. Uh, so. Along with, along with as much damage as I can get my hands on, I'm very proud of this build. I have a very nice little build uh, for it, but uh, this current rate, uh, I'm basically using mostly my Ash Prime build. So, as far as Ash Prime uh, goes, I actually, I'm basically trying to find a good place where I can, uh, I can basically see where enemies are spawning. Um, so I basic, I'm basically trying to find a good place where um, uh, enemies spawn, so that I can just sit there with, while being under my invisibility, under under smoke uh, screen's effect, and then just fire away and enjoy myself. All the while, my original purpose was to see what I, what kind of relics I could farm from the void if I could farm something useful. It turns out I can farm something useful. A uh, Meso 01 relic drops from one of these. Uh, is a, it has a chance to drop from here, so. Uh, it was it was okay I guess um, since uh, with uh, Arc Prime um, uh, with Oberon Prime being in, in its axes and everybody wanting those Meso relics um, yeah pretty much it, it, it's, it's it's a good place to farm I guess also farmed a very decent amount of Argon crystals apparently so that was also a nice little bonus obviously if you want Argon crystals this is the place to be it's unfortunate that the Argon crystals don't really last that long otherwise it would be a lot better uh, but it doesn't matter. So, basically, here in this particular game mode, I'm actually very interested in the fact that actually, uh, it, it kind of goes to notice that uh, sometimes no knowledge of the game, better knowledge of the game, having a decent Warframe and having some decent skill with the game is actually, can pretty much take the show on. So, as far as Ash Prime goes, uh, for my Ash Prime... As far as my Ash, uh, yeah, as far as my Ash Prime build, I will be leaving a screenshot at the end of the video uh, just to show you my build of Ash Prime. It's, like I said, it's nothing special. It's basically just modded for a little survivability along with uh, mostly focusing on his arguments. I wanted to basically play around and just test to see if I could use all his arguments and uh, uh, just play around to see if they actually would work, if they actually make him kind of useful. And um, uh, I re removed most of them and left Fatal Teleport and uh, the um, the Shuriken one. The uh, I forgot what it's actually called. Um, and uh, yeah, I basically used the uh, the, the Shuriken argument for uh, weakening enemy armor if I need to, and uh, the Fatal Teleport to teleport to enemies and kill them off. And uh, it actually, while using smoke screen to remain in, uh, to become invisible and just you know take away any aggro and not get hit by anything to increase my survivability. I, it, I think it's actually uh, as far as um, health and goes and stuff like that. I'm actually uh, now something that I might do is I might remove my vitality completely and just give myself a prime vigor or something because. I don't really get hit. I noticed uh, while I was playing this survival that I wasn't really getting hit as long as I wasn't visible, as long as I, if I was being shot, I was like I'm being avoiding. And since I can remain uh, in invisible for a, a decent amount of time, and I, I can you know constantly use it because I'm actually using Xenuric as my focus power, which means I gain a, a very nicely steady, not that much, but enough energy to keep me going. As long as I'm very con like conservative about my energy, um, I can pretty much I, I can become invisible over and over while still using my fatal teleport and shuriken uh, as needed. Uh, the only trick is to not spam blade storm. Otherwise, if I use blade storm, my energy just goes completely dead. Uh, I will use my blade storm only if I'm like uh, in a tight corner where enemies are overcrowding me. Obviously, with a a bow that actually deals like. I, I I mean I do kill everything with one shot, but you know if even if, if even so if I'm surrounding if I'm surrounded then um, I would have to like you know I have to take each enemy one by one unless they're in a straight line. So it would be useful if I'm surrounded by all ways by by you know by all by all around. Then um, I would use my blade storm to basically clear the uh, the area, you know to clear the area essentially. Uh, anyways, so yeah, uh, in this particular video, uh, I was basically the reason why I made this video is because uh, yeah, I wanted I was really surprised to find out that the end, 
Um, yeah, I had the highest damage and the highest kills with Ash Prime against uh, three Mirages. Now, to be fair, the Mirages were kind of, I guess, competing amongst themselves as to getting the most kills. One of them completely gave up because there was too much competition. They all had... I'm guessing they had kind of like a, di a slightly different build for each other as Mirages, but uh, at the same time, probably the same damaging build. And... Um, while Mirages are very decent for dealing constant damage and just piling enemies down, they are also a little bit um, susceptible. They don't really. They, they, it's the kind of thing where you have to keep on moving, otherwise you will die. The enemies will just pepper you. And um, yeah, I mean, it, it, it was. Uh, I was basically as soon as I started the game, I was like, okay, we have three Mirages. I get it. They're gonna be going around doing all the kills, taking everything. But then I'm wondering, okay, how long are, you, are these guys going to stay? They probably won't be staying for too long because they won't be able to last that long. Well, as soon as enemies hit the, level, the high levels, they basically get melted. So I imagine that they would uh, definitely want to leave at some point and they would definitely not stay for too long. And um, while normally most people would just give up and just let the Mirages do all the job and basically all the other DPSs, I decided, you know what, I, 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 I want to go, I want to do around some kills, I want to enjoy my Warframe, I want to I wanna have some fun. Like I said, I was enjoying my bow, so I decided, you know what, I'll just keep on killing, I'll just keep on going, and I'll use my knowledge as uh, the uh, using the enemy spawn rate to basically find a nice place where I can increase where I can where enemies can spawn quickly and I can just wail on them and I did that so a little bit of knowledge of or warframe a decent uh, warframe build a very good weapon and a little skill and uh, yeah you're pretty much set and it it in the end of the game it kind of proves that yeah sometimes it's not all about gathering the platinum and getting the best things that are in the game if you don't play the game to learn to know it and to you know, get to know what the, what 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 is what, then um, you definitely will have a hard time surviving on, in the long shot. And I am actually very proud to call myself that I can I know I do know how the game works, and I can I guess take care of myself. I can try my best to not to not die. I, I guess, and uh, to the point where I can at least I can I can shine somewhat by you know making a difference by either helping my teammates when they least expect it or you know in a ways that I you know they wouldn't like uh know like with ash my with my ash prime all i have to do is become invisible using his smoke screen and then i can pretty much revive anyone who's nearby me or in an, in a nearby area and so i can actually use my ash prime for support if I need to as a team player by using his fated teleport to take on the strongest enemies such as bombardos heavy grenades and you know uh, that kind of stuff and I can also use my smoke screen to become invisible and uh, basically make everyone um, uh, revive anyone if he if they go down and at the same time I can also use my shuriken to uh, reduce enemy armor against enemies who have really high armor I can actually use it to reduce their armor and allow my allies to kill them so while this build uh, allowed me to you know be number one in this particular game I still have I'm built for teamwork so it just goes to show that you don't really have to go all on your own to make a build just you know being selfish and go uh, make a build only by yourself uh, you know you, you can somehow divert your build and make it so that you can support others and it's 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 I, I think it's, it's 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 useful and it's actually pretty handy um, and uh, yeah, you'll actually see here, I'm actually, like I said, uh, yeah, Mirage tends to melt. I actually pop on my map to see where he is, to see how far he is from me, to see if I could revive him if he's close by. And I see that he's actually far away from me, so I, I decide to, yeah, by the time I get there, he will die. And he does die. And like I said, he can take the competition So against the other two Mirages, so he just decides to not revive himself. He just stays for most of the for the last few uh, minutes on the game, he just decides to not play, I guess. And um, yeah, a lot of people tend to do that, uh, but I like to keep pushing forward. I like to, you know, even if I don't take, do the most damage or the most kills, I can still enjoy myself and, you know, have some fun. And that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm using uh, a very simple strategy, a very simple method. Everybody does it, and it actually worked, and it actually works very well, along with some knowledge, knowing that this is something that very few people know, is that for some reason, 
the player who is either the first uh, player or the fourth player when doing survival they have a higher spawn radius they, they have a higher enemy spawn for some reason and um, that's a bit of an advantage and I use that advantage to basically make the enemy spawn you'll see at this part here that I'm actually waiting patiently for the enemies to start spawning again so I can start piling them up again and it kind of works <laughs> pretty much it works so yeah this is something that I was ever uh, interested to be able to um, take the kill and the damage count uh, from three mirages was actually definitely a bit of an achievement and I wanted to share it because I want to kind of encourage uh, better t uh, skill play maybe uh, to not focus too much on builds that others may, may have made uh, because in the end it's whatever suits you the most and it's whatever you know it, it in the end it's all about enjoying yourself no matter what kind of build you have even if you're making the best build in the game for the highest amount of damage it's still you're basically still you know you still want to make a build that actually has you know have some fun essentially so I uh, thank you for watching uh, I hope you found this um, a video I don't know interesting and kind of like informative or something like I said I'll have a screenshot at the uh, final um, I guess after the uh, the, the, the videos uh, at the end of the video I'll have like a small screenshot where you can actually see my build like I said it's nothing special it doesn't even have an Exodus adapter yet it's just a very basic build with uh, I don't know I think maybe one former I think mm, I don't know uh, but yeah you can actually see it uh, at the end of the video uh, once more I'd like to thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed uh, and uh, stay cool and I'll see you later bye